Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw Client here, back again this week with another episode of a bit of shooting on the side. This week featuring a bit of team heavies on the map Longbow, so I don't think I've showed this type of gameplay off before, so this will be a nice little addition. Oh, nearly said mix it up there. But anyway, I just want to say guys, I'm finally back because all of my exams have finished, so don't worry guys, I know you've been really upset that I've been gone, so you know, you can hold back all the tears at the moment now, you can just, you know, hold back those tears, no one needs to cry today, I'm finally back. But um, anyway, so for this episode I wanted to extend a bit on my discussion that I had about Halo 5, and all I want to say is that 343, why? Why 343? I talk a bit about Halo 5, going on a minute rant about how there's such little information, and then a day or two after, they end up releasing brand new information, revealing the title, and a bit of cover art as well. You know, 343, you like making me look stupid in my own videos, don't you? <laughs> but um, anyway, no, my terrible, terrible timing of that video. But it doesn't matter because at the moment now I've got a few more things to talk about. So, the new new uh, title of the game is actually released. I believe this might be a work, uh, maybe a work in progress title, but it's currently called uh, Halo 5 Guardians. And there was also a bit of cover art that was released as well. I mean, again, not too much information, but it gave us a bit of uh, a bit of information to work with, you know, maybe a bit more speculation. So the front cover art actually comes up with a, well, it shows a, a well, it shows two Spartans on the front. One, you'd probably be able to recognize as Master Chief. But the funny thing is that Master Chief hasn't actually got the center spot on this cover art. He actually, he's actually shown in the reflection of another Spartan, which has a blue visor and a more slender figure. So. Again, that's confirmation that there is going to be another Spartan in here. But when this cover art was first released, a lot of people, including myself, speculated that maybe maybe this was a female Spartan or something. But, and, well, just because of the slender figure, a lot of people thought that it was a female Spartan, including myself. But uh, Frank O'Connor later uh, confirmed that it was, not, it was in fact not a female Spartan. But he did say, oh, there'll be plenty of strong female characters. But again, uh, it was quickly dismissed. So, yeah, that's not quite hair theory behind it but he did as I said he shortly after mentioned that there'll be strong female characters in there so uh, what, what does this mean is it gonna be like another strong female Spartan sort of like a cat from Halo Reach you know she was quite a strong character but to be honest I think there are quite a lot of strong female characters in the series anyway so uh, I don't know maybe that was a bit irrelevant him mentioning that but um, again like I was saying not really too much information to work on just that cover art and and uh, the title, the new title, so like I said, try not to get your hopes up too much, but I'm guessing they'll be unveiling some more information at E3, well, well this is less than a month away now, I'm, I'm not, it's about two week, two or so weeks away, <laughs> very, very soon, but we'll be seeing some more information on, the, on that soon, I'm guessing. And in other news, I actually wanted to talk a bit about the Halo 2 anniversary as well, because just to quickly say, this is not official information, this is actually a leak, I believe it was on NeoGAF or a website like that, but um, Halo 2 Anniversary isn't actually true, It's I believe it's called the Master Chief Edition of Halo 5, which will include the full Halo 5 game alongside with ports of Halos 1 to one through to 4, so again we might be seeing Halo 2, Halo 2 on uh, Xbox One, but Again, like I said, this isn't actually confirmed, this isn't 100% confirmed, it was just a leak, so no concrete information here, but it's quite, it did surprise me quite a lot that there'll be like 1 to one through to 4, I mean, we wouldn't really need Combat Evolved, just considering that the Anniversary Edition was made, what, I mean, when was that, it was about two or so years ago, back in, was it 2011, I believe, but it was quite recent, so it would seem a bit, I don't know, not really needed to pour it over yet again, but the information does say that it would be a port, it doesn't quite say a remake, so it might not even end up, like, Halo 2 to, through to uh, 4 might not even look remade, it might even just be a port, you know, same graphics and everything, but just running on the Xbox One, so that would be a bit of a disappointment, but to get all of the games, like 1 through to 4, that would be quite amazing, that really took me off guard when they said that, but again, like I've said for like the third time now, it, it's leaked information, so... Try not to get your hopes up too high un well, until they actually release some official information in E3. And moving on, speaking of leaked information, Frank O'Connor actually responded uh, to previous information stating, well he responded to the leak stating that 
he was absolutely furious about leaks saying that they cause a wealth of problems for developers and it causes a lot of well he just said that it causes a wealth of problems for the developers mostly because he uh, people put in their hard work you know they put the developers put in all their hard work just to uh, make it and then he said that for what just for early information by like eight hours or something uh, which I I understand I mean it must be extremely annoying I mean especially when you hear news such as this uh, Halo Halo 5 leak I mean sorry the Master Chief edition of Halo 5 leaked I mean it can really get up a lot of people's hopes and if if 343 end up releasing well or end up le releasing information that it's just Halo 2 and uh, Halo 2 anniversary or even that there's no Halo 2 anniversary whatsoever I know that there'll be very well many many diff disappointed fans including myself so again leaks can be extremely annoying and it does cause a lot of problems it's uh, it's not I'm not gonna lie there's problems all the time but anyway so uh, what do you guys think about the whole idea of having Halo's 1 to 1 to 4 ported I mean as I said I don't really think it'll be necessary for the anniversary edition to be on there because you can both get you can both buy it on the Xbox Live Arcade. Well, I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox One, but for the 360, you could buy Halo One uh, Combat Evolved. For um, you could buy it on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Plus, they had the Anniversary Edition, which was HD graphics, pretty much an overhaul of the game. So yeah, that was pretty cool. But again, unnecessary on Xbox One to be on Xbox One again. It just seems like they're doing it to death. Sort of like a uh, I don't know Zelda Ocarina of Time type thing. Again, on the flip side of leaks being disappointing, I think sometimes leaks can be, uh, well, it can keep people hyped. I mean, sometimes if companies don't release much information over the weeks, it really does start to get stale, and sometimes I start to lose interest. I mean, again, I don't I don't support these leaks, but maybe if developers could release a bit more information uh, on a weekly basis, it would be something great. I mean, it would at, at least keep people uh, hyped for the game. I think the best comparison to this is... Uh, well, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, which I think Sakurai, the producer, is doing a really good job because he posts a new image of the game every single day, uh, well, every day of the week, of the, every working day of the week, so it sort of keeps people hyped for it, and I know it definitely kept my attention high for Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. But anyway, um, that's all I have for today, so if you enjoyed watching this, guys, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I promise I will be back again next week with some more gameplay. Well, I was about to say Halo 5 then. But anyway, see you guys later and peace out.